<laughs> Tough. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> We're up after this? Okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you there, Mr. Bill. It's very, very nice. Joining me uh, in, in studio is, is an old friend um, who is uh, one of the, uh, uh, the most celebrated chefs in, in this country. He is the uh, proprietor of two great restaurants here in Toronto, Mistura and uh, Sopra. Uh, he can be seen on television <coughs> almost on a regular basis on all kinds of different programs. And now you'll be able to see him each Wednesday evening on the Travel and Escape channel with uh, his Gourmet Escapes program. Massimo Capra is here. Thank you very much for being here. It's great to see you. It's a pleasure to be here again. It's a, it's Love it. Yeah. <laughs> always great to see you. Uh, I have to tell you that, uh, how, how are the restaurants doing, by the way? The restaurants are doing very well. I mean, the, the, well, the Christmas season is upon us by all intent and purpose. I mean, we are doing extremely well. The summer is always a little bit softer because, uh, you know, a lot of us have cottages and places to be. Yeah. But uh, summertime, uh, wintertime is fantastic. Yeah, now, you, you yeah. seem busier than ever. Yeah, I am, I am. <laughs> Every time I turn around, I have something to do. I love and, it. <laughs> and you got involved with a project uh, of a restaurant in Niagara Falls. Tell me That's about right. That. Well, that is in the um, old Brock Hotel, which now is the Crown Plaza, and it's called the Rainbow Room. I licensed my name, and I gave some recipes, uh, about a dozen recipes on the menu, and I'm working with the chef on a, well, as much as I can, uh, really, to just produce some uh, different culinary experiences. Utilizing uh, yeah. the local produce? Well, yeah, local is, uh, is very important. I mean, this is a movement that uh, finally is back. I mean, it uh, used to be local all the time until I don't know what happened. Yeah, <laughs> you know, but now, finally, yes, we, we are using all of the the bounty of um, the Niagara region. I mean, uh, what what better than, what's better than that? And now we see the wines too. When the wines, I mean, the fantastic wines. I mean, the Niagara region is producing some of the best wines. It's yeah. amazing because award winning. It, that yeah. was not yeah. true twenty years ago. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It no. wasn't. <laughs> Somebody brought over a bottle of uh, Ontario wine to your house. You go, what the hell is the matter with this guy? Does he not like me? You That's know? right. You're right. No, but things have changed for the better. Yeah, yeah for the better. Yeah, absolutely. Now, why why do you suppose people are going back? There's so many chefs we've had on this program who who, who speak of, uh, of of local produce. I mean, and they speak of it in in two ways. Uh, number one, the the, the quality is outstanding. That's right. yeah. I mean, I, you can't buy a get a better tomato than than ones in Ontario absolutely. in August. Um, yeah. And also because, of course, it's uh, it, it's healthier. A hundred percent, but that that has always been my uh, my approach. I mean, uh, being raised in a farm and until I was about fourteen years old, I never ate anything that didn't come from my home uh, village and uh, my hometown. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we raised our uh, all our poultry. We raised. We grew our own vegetables. We ate everything that we we went into the fields after the machines are finished and uh, uh, harvesting. And we collected the leftover corn and the wheat and so on, and then we gave it to the millman, and he would just prepare flour for us in many different varieties. So it's something that has always been with us. And as a chef, um, and all of the chefs in the city, anywhere, anywhere, uh, they realize that really local food tastes better because it doesn't travel as much. Yep. You know, I mean, it's fresher. Is automatically fresher. So when it's fresh food like that, I mean, you get better nutrients. And I, I, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I challenge anybody to tell me otherwise. You know, when you eat something that is freshly grown and you bring it to your plate, I mean, you have all the nutrients that are needed. Well, this yeah. time of the year, unfortunately, it's starting to get a little bit late well. <laughs> in the year. But uh, um, you know, you go to the various farmers markets. Yeah. There's one around Bill's place. There's one, you know, there's a number around my place as well. And you, you. Know, Grab a, a, a cob of corn that's been picked that morning, that, or perhaps the night before, that's not, right. not two weeks ago, <laughs> yeah, that's right. and taste it and say, wow, this is what it's supposed to taste that's, like. That's right. And, and you know what I mean? And listen, uh, the movement is great, but I mean, we have to be logical. I mean, we are in the middle of uh, a northern country. So in, yep. the, in the middle of February, it'll be kind of hard to go and dig out potatoes from your own garden. Right, so I mean, you have to make adjustments. Uh, I think that using logic is, is is the best way. Support your farmers for as much as you can for whatever you need, and then uh, you augment it with a few other things. Obviously, I mean, there is a business to be made everywhere, so and we need to we need to eat. We need to eat. So there's nothing else you can do. Right? Yeah. I mean, now uh, I got to tell you, this, uh, we'll talk about. So we're going to have to break in a couple of minutes yeah. at the bottom of the hour, but then we're going to come back and 
uh, chat more. Massimo Capra is my guest. Uh, Gourmet Escapes is a new series. Uh, it launched on Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday this past yeah. week and continues. How many sh uh, episodes did you shoot? Well, 13. 13, 13 for the first season and uh, hopefully we'll do a second season and a third season. I watched the, uh, the, the one that they sent over to right. me the other night. I got to tell you, I mean, not only is it, is it fascinating to watch, uh, and learn. Right. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, comedy going on in there. It's a very funny. You're a very funny man. On well, what, what, and I mean that in a very nice I try, way. I you know. It's, the, it's just what I am. That's all. You know. I mean, I like. I enjoy my life. Uh, you know. I, I enjoy laughing a lot. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I'm always there for a joke or a prank or uh, anything. Anybody can tell you that. I can take them as much as I can dish them. I don't have any issues, but you know, I think the life without humor is not really a good life. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no <laughs> You know, so, no. and no matter what, I mean, it, I like my my chef, and my cooks in the kitchen to be enjoying them, their lives, to be enjoying their day. So, I mean, uh, laughter here and there is actually a good medicine. There's w there's one segment in 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 the program where um, where you're feeding pigs, little, little <laughs> piglets, right? right? And you're feeding them, and, and you look at the camera, and I love this line. And he Masmo looks at the camera, and he says, "I feed them." They feed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reality, right? I mean, it is. It, it, well, how else can you explain? <clears throat> how else can be, can it be explained, right? Yeah, I mean, well, uh, this, this is what the, food is like. <laughs> get ready for the letters from Peter. Oh, let him take it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll uh, take it. Uh, you you love to eat, though. I mean, that's 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 evident. It's, Absolutely, you, you can see your your passion for uh, not only preparing food, but but the consumption of food. Oh, absolutely. And I have no no restriction whatsoever. I mean, I think that food, all food can be enjoyed equally. You know, I mean, it's not uh, something that uh, we, you take for granted. I mean, it's, it's a gift. Yeah. You know, and uh, ever since men started uh, hunting and uh, gathering and uh, eating, which I think is pretty early in life. You know? yeah, I think, it's, <laughs> you know, I think it's, that was that's even older than Bill. I think. Well, think about it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So uh, no, but uh, food has always been the the, the 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 thing that brought us together, mm -hmm. right? I mean, uh, you, you know, you hunt and you gather and you cook and you enjoy and you have a libation and you have a little bit of drinking. You know what I mean? Involved and everybody has a party. You have a laugh or two. You you know you you talk about your day. You talk about your life. You. You know, it's part of who we are. And it, well, it does. It is. It brings people together. It galvanizes That's communities. Right. It galvanizes uh, families right. and, and brings friends together. Uh, and food always seems to taste better when you're eating with others. Absolutely. That definitely is, is the truth. I mean, that's why I have always uh, my dinners and lunches as much as I can with my whole family. I mean, we all eat together at the table. We all have uh, our seats, and uh, pe some people laugh about it, but, uh, you know, th this, is what we, this is what we do. That's why you go to restaurants. Yeah. You know. We're going to come back and uh, chat more. His uh, local, his, his latest, I should say, uh, a program on television called Gourmet Escapes airs Wednesday. Uh, at 8 p.m. on Travel and Escape Television. Chef Massimo Capra, my guest, back with more in a moment. 2.30 right now at New Start 1010.